Right, so one of the things I get asked about most as a coach is course management. So for today's Friday fix, powered by Players Fuel, we're out on the 17th hole at Heron's Reach, a drivable par four with trouble everywhere. A ditch running across the fairway at 180 yards, a water hazard down the right, and out of bounds left. So this is the perfect risk reward. If we take it on and pull it off, we make eagle. If we get it wrong, it's a big number, or we could be conservative and possibly make birdie that way. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play two balls, one where I'm gonna lay up, second of all where I'm gonna have a go at the green, and let's see, is it boom or bust? Right, so the ditch is about 180 yards and we're back into the wind. So I'm gonna hit seven iron because I'm comfortable that that can't reach the ditch, but should leave me a nice number into the green. So first ball, seven iron layup. So that's job done, middle of the fairway with a nice layup. Right, so with the second ball, the hole's 275 yards, so potentially drivers too much into the wind. So we're gonna go three wood, might not get me on the green, but should get me front edge with an easy chance for a two. Let's hope I pull a shot off. Right, so I'm gonna go at Blackpool Tower and try and turn it a little bit from right to left, keep it away from the outer bounds on the left. If I do make a mistake here, down the right's better because it's just a penalty drop out rather than reload on the tee. But let's go for the good one and see if we can knock it on. It's drawing back. I don't think it's quite going to get there, but it's down the right side of the fairway with a little short pitch in. So, so far, the risk's paying off. Right, we can see job done, I'm on the fairway, but the ball's just kicked slightly left. I've got the trees potentially in the way here, but 52 degree wedge, hopefully nice and close and still have a putt for birdie. Drifting back on the breeze. And about a 15 footer for birdie. Right, so the risk has paid off that I'm down by the green. Didn't quite reach because it didn't draw enough, but I've actually left myself a tricky little 35 yard shot over the bunker with not much green to play with. So probably not one of my strongest shots to be fair, but let's see if we can get this closer and still make birdie. Kick a little bit left. Not bad. So two pots for birdie. Let's see who wins. Right, so that's the risk ball. So it's about half the length of the kind of safe shot, but both puts for birdie. So this one, a little bit left to right. Let's see if I can knock this one in and make birdie. It's on its way. Oh. So it's a good try. But now, let's see if the risk ball, I can knock this in and at least justify taking the risk. Just over read it. So we can see two pars. Now the big thing there is ultimately there's no point in taking the risk. I didn't reach the green, gave myself a better chance for birdie, but certainly from my perspective, when I've got one of my wedges in my hand, I'm expecting to hit it close enough to give myself a chance for birdie. But by hitting seven iron off the tee, I took a big number out of play. So I appreciate golf's about enjoying yourself, but if you're looking to get your scores down, the key thing is keeping penalty shots off your card. And if it's risk reward, you've got to honestly ask yourself, if it's one or two out of 10 where the risk comes off, it's not worth it. You need to get the ball in play, play a bit more conservatively. And even if it's a case of making bogey, keep the big numbers off your card. So as ever, this week's Friday Fix, powered by Players Fuel. Hope you've enjoyed this video about a little bit of risk reward. Take it on board, get those scores down. There's a video just there that I hope you'll enjoy that'll help you with your game. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.